Okay, check this out. I'm getting ready to start my food tent business. I've been painting faces in the park, as y'all know, or as some of y'all know. I've been painting faces in the park. And while I'm out in the park, I've seen people out there selling snow cones and different types of foods. And I see how well the face paint is doing me really good. I make around, I make a nice amount each day. It seems like any idea God gives me makes money. But uh, as Chris was so good to share with me before, that I probably should make more money. So this is my project that I feel God is taking me to to make more money under my food tent. I have a food tent already. I have a food tent. I mean a tent. But uh, I wasn't selling food out of it. Well... I'm going to sell food. There's a lady out there selling snow cone ices. Oh my God, them things were delicious too. And of course, me being me, I did the research to find out what she bought these uh, two gallon buckets of snow cone ices. Smooth ice. Not the one you got to put in the machine. Not the one you got to put in the machine to, to you know, to crush up the ice. This is already smoothed up. She, what I see that she showed me. These are nice ice buckets. Though. Nice ice. And so, anyway, I said, okay, I'll be doing some of that. But she said she spent around, she said she spent around $400 or more in her food, in her profits. And she haven't even out yet, you know. She said she made more of her money selling the waters and Gatorade type stuff. Like the boys do on the side of the street. So, I was glad she shared that with me. Even though I will get some of the snow cone stuff, but I'm not going to get carried away like she did. It would probably be more like for the family when the family get together. But I may have one or two buckets out there. I may have, I probably had two buckets, two or three buckets so for have a choice. But uh, I went in Publix the other day and what do I see? About eight of these seven or eight of these lined up with hot soup in it. Let me take this out so you see how big it is. Nice size. I'm like, oh, God will give you confirmation now. I said, oh my God, these are the same things that I just got out of layaway at the pawn shop. See, I see these at the pawn shop. And the man thought they were deep fryers. And I was excited when I thought they were deep fryers. Then he said, oh no, they're warmers. I said, they're warmers. Ugh, I guess I'll go and get them. So I went on to put them on layaway. That's the good thing about the pawn shop. You can put it on layaway, right? So I put it on layaway and just got them out this month. Uh, I guess I would say they were uh, around two. I'm not sure they're about 180 something or two or 160 something. I'm not sure exactly. But anyway, so I'm glad I did because I walked, I, I got, gave me confirmation. Let me tell you. Let me show y'all one more. Wait a minute. Hold up. So this has two. This has two. These are big. Now, this is big. It, at least, I don't know how big. One gallon sizes or something. It's big. And this over here are four four areas and this right here and these also have about a gallon about a gallon for each side something like that maybe more I, I, I just got it I hadn't opened it up really and looked in there like I want to uh, so anyway this has four four departments this has two I feel like I have more than enough now and this right here has two has two departments uh, now, what my plan is now is to get the containers, you know, the big five-gallon uh, see-through glass where people get their, their water out of or they, uh, you know, mango juice out of or lemonade out of. Well, I plan on doing that as well. And I'm going to get a cooler and I'm going to load the cooler with bottles of water. So, after the lady shared with me, how much she spent in her things. I thought, okay, I ain't gonna spend like that. The most spend I've done, I feel, is buying this, you know. Oh, and by the way, this right here was like 160 something. This right here was 160 something. This was around one something. 
and this with the two sides was only $98 90 98 90 something dollars 99 98 dollars so and I would definitely get all that back the same day this property back the same day so I'm getting the two tall pictures the two three to five gallon pictures with the nozzle on it so I can get people lemonade in a cup uh, and I'm also going to get a lemonade crusher because I've done my research Chris shared a video with me about uh, money and making money and I can't think of the name of the video yet yeah, that's Chris uh, but anyway he shared a video with me about saving money and all that because we've been talking about that and I hadn't saved up like I haven't but now I am he said you probably need to make more money mom and I do need to make more money you know because the lady that I was taking care of at the nursing home you know she passed away around three months ago now who lived to be 101 so that had at the time had dropped my income down a lot you know so now I still go around to the nursing homes I still go around to the nursing homes and I sing you know and that's that's checks coming but they're only like a hundred some dollars checks unless they haven't seen longer and and I have to wait on that to come in the mail in a couple of weeks two to three weeks which is good it's better than no income and doing my other little hustles going out and sing on the streets which does me real good but this right here in my face paint that's doing good too but I need something that's gonna bring a huge lump sum in that one thing you know so anyway uh, getting the gallon jugs so this is what this month will be about this at least the next week or two will be about getting those big gallon jugs selling lemonade mango juice different juices you know and having all the cups and the straws and uh, having the coolers full of water so I've been doing my research thanks Chris for sharing that video with me because uh, it gave me some good advice now I know he sent it to me for us uh, how to save money and how to make money or well, how to save money make it and save it yeah but I got some great ideas from that video and it says you definitely need to save and give yourself 10% for sure or more you know but then when you find something that's a good investment then you put that money on that something you know is gonna make you big money you know a good investment so this is it for me for for now you know so uh, anyway uh, what I what I were doing what I would be doing the lady shared with me that she spent so much money on her on her stuff I said okay well I'm not gonna spend money like that I'm gonna buy cheap items so the things I'm going to be selling nachos nachos don't cost much uh, the can of cheese Pouring cheese on a nacho, boom, profit. The other thing you could do is hot dogs. So you want to buy cheap items, hot dogs and the buns. And you want to have the thing of ketchup. You want to have the thing of ketchup, you know, the thing of mustard. Or uh, even you could even buy the little small things of, uh, you know, like the mayonnaise. You know, when I put mayonnaise on it, relish, whatever. You could buy the small things like that. Now I'm also buying the long skinny container that uh, has the uh, lemons in them, uh, pickles, you, you know what I'm talking about. And it has a cover that covers it up as well. So, I'll let you all know how it turns out. Uh, hopefully one of my family members, or maybe more than that, will get on board with me and come out there with me and help me serve the people and make some money themselves, you know. Um, so anyway, just want to share with you all where I'm headed with this. I got a few more items coming. I should have everything ready before this month coming up is out. All right. Thank you all for watching. And again, to my family, let me know if y'all want to get on board and go out there with me to serve. And make that money. As they say, make that money, honey. Thanks for watching. This is Lady T.